Hmm. Oh God. Oh. Get a twisted gamble. Star Dude, that gambling is terrible. Is entertainment and you break even, you win. Look what Trape taught me. Thanks, New X and Y. This is what every fucking 90s movie looked like. Look, Java. Even I get boarded sometimes. Damn, he looks so bad. You think I had a choice? Jesus, wait, so this was like the remake? Uh, this was the remaster of A New Hope. So he was not CG before and then they replaced him? Is that what happened here? God! Who thought that was a good idea? It sometimes. You think I had a choice? Oh, I remember watching this movie. Is it, was that a scar card? What the fuck, dude? If you won't lead my army, then you must die. Fucking PS1 cutscene. I am no real man. I am a god. Do yourself a favor. Don't involve. What the fuck is this movie? Never heard of this movie. They got Gary Oldman though. Doctor Doolittle of Outer Space. First, we're gonna steal off this. Oh, I remember this movie. Whee! Cute. The fuck? Why are they being so ambitious when they don't have like the budget or the team for it? You saved them I again. What's this? A local. Let's get out of here before. Fucking locals. Oh, this was high quality stuff. The rock as a scorpion. I don't know why they didn't track his face in instead. Oh no, Harry Potter? I actually think for the time, I don't think this was that bad. I think 2001, this is about what you could expect from a CG character. I mean, it's bad now, looking at it, but... It didn't stick out back then, that's bad. Some of these were bad even then. But maybe I'm just looking at it through, like, uh... Nostalgia glasses. Gollum was 1999, but Gollum was just phenomenal. Right? Anything Lord of the Rings was just incredible. And this was standard. I mean, there are- there is bad Lord of the Rings CGI as well. There are a few shots that look really terrible, especially if you know what to look for. But overall, I mean, they did so much. Overall, it looks amazing. This is like, uh, the only movie that really got away with effects like this was uh, Ghostbusters. Because it was fine that those characters looked a bit fake. Because they were supernatural anyway. Blah, 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 blah. Bond. And those weren't? <clears throat> I guess that applies to the Scooby-Doo as well. Oh, this movie is just CGI Fiesta. This was such a letdown after the first one. <laughs> that fucking sub alert, dude. Hey, thanks for the 14 months. Mods ban Vaticus and Sam 1G. I gotta make sure to... I gotta remember to give out some awards for the people with the alerts. They tone down the green nest later. This was sort of a fun movie. Did anyone watch this movie? I quite enjoy this movie. Golly. 
Lara Croft with the bodysuit. Freddy versus Jason? Wait, I remember this movie. Wait, what? I don't remember this scene. I think I fell asleep in this movie. Oh. Literal booty, three months. You should open the box now! Thank you for the resub. This absolute piece of shit movie. What's Halle Berry up to these days anyway? Oh, it's The Ring, too. Did I ever watch this movie? Probably. <clears throat> hey, this one's fun. The, I had a guy who worked on this movie on the visual effects. He did a presentation at my school. I studied visual effects. He had a lot of really fun stories about it. Uh -huh. One about, um, ah. I'm gonna ruin it, I think. <laughs> it's not that funny of a story if you're not. He, he like showed us in the software. They spent a lot of time making the flies that were supposed to buzz around King Kong. And then in the end of the final render, they accidentally put them in a wrong spot. So they rendered all the flies off screen. Yeah, I'm sorry. The story is way f was way more fun when he presented it because he like zoomed out and he's like, oh, this, this is where the flies are. But yeah, they fucked up a lot on that movie. They were so ambitious. Peter Jackson was so ambitious after Lord of the Rings. This movie was okay though, but yeah, the characters look like shit. It had two endings too. One of them was really tacky. These nerds. Ha! They were missionaries. And what did they do before them? They were dog stylists. Nim? Oh my god, this movie was absolute dog shit. More. Which director made that movie again? That guy should be banned from making movies. Wow, that looks really bad. What the fuck? <sighs> M. Night Shyamalan writes. I've finally taken my place in the long line of my clans. Here they come. It looked okay until he started talking. Okay, this is a bit of a low blow going after this movie. Come on now, they try their best. Not your father, Sam. Wow, that looks like shit. But I'm very, very happy to see him. To all of us! That movie had a great soundtrack. Oh, green. Wait, holy shit, that's Taika Waititi. I had no idea he was in Green Lantern, the OG one. Blaze in 11 months, thank you. Why, wow, he's so young here. It's me, chat. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> I don't think that looks that bad. This, however. Get to the subway, Wilson platform 10, and dump the phone. They're using it to track you. Which of these did you make? Hey, listen, the visual effects I worked on would ever sh never show up in this movie. It's too perfect. Right the hip. He was James Wong. Oh. So fucking dumb. Actually, I think the idea is that uh, uh, elves are like weightless or some shit, right? That's why you can walk on snow as well. Sure weight a lot there though. So, this is where you've been hiding now. Wait, it's where they tr stop. keep trying to make this movie work. Whoa, 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 and it never does. <laughs> what? Well, do you see his ass or something here? Uh, why is that not a surprise? I'm sorry? 
Well, all that heartache and pining and... What's all this? Jesus. Tribute, sir. Wow, that's so bad. A man on you. Oh, this as well. Hope is like a car key. So, I don't can't remember if this is the movie where... He had a mustache for a different movie, right? And so they had to digitally remove his mustache in every shot. Easy yeah, it's this one. If you dig around, it's usually close by. Now, on the flip side, here's a story for you guys. Uh, his opponent, the bald guy, what's he called? The guy who plays the bald guy, Jesse Eisenberg. He had to wear a wig for a movie I was making because he was bald, or I was working on. So we had to fix the wig digitally because it looked like shit. It's usually close by. I'm the idiot who left. But I'm back now. Oh, yeah. You really don't know who I am. Genie, wishes, lamp, none of that ringing a bell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 